hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i want to start by saying thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel it's been one month now and i am at 302 subscribers and i am so happy because of the love and support that you guys have shown me my friends my family thank you very much so if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe down below so that by the end of this month we will be at 600 subscribers and also kindly share uh, this YouTube channel with every young girl out there every young mother who's out there I want them to be subscribed to this channel because I personally created this channel for them for them to understand how being a young parent is or what it entails so if you have not subscribed please subscribe if you have not viewed my previous videos kindly go and view them like them as well and also comment down below Today I'll be telling you about a very <laughs> uh, outrageous topic. I'll be talking about how I became a mother of two overnight because I think people who don't know me, like my new friends, are asking uh, about uh, my kids and if they are from different dads, if they are from the same dad, or how I have two kids. So I am here today to explain to you why and how it happened. Yeah, so back in 2017, I had started this YouTube channel for uh, a particular show I wanted to start because I wanted to have more than one voice, more than me. Like, I wanted to have uh, different young ladies who have kids and they are raising their kids on their own. So uh, I started uh, grouping up young ladies who have, who have kids below the age of five, no, above the age of two and below the age of six, and they had to be below uh, 23 years. So I met up with so many different types of women, and we started the whole journey together back in 2017. And we were, when at the beginning, we were actually many, we were 10, we went down to 7, 5, and we ended up doing the show at 4 people only. And I can be very, very honest with you, it was a very hectic journey because we all had different things and we all wanted, like I, all, I wanted to put all, the, all of those stuff together and it was quite hard. So, I feel like I'm drifting. Uh, for... Uh, during that period of time I happened to meet new people and among those new people I met this wonderful woman her name is Defense Glenda Nyakeo we have been friends since then and I can tell you these four years have been a great journey for us like wow <laughs> we've been through he uh, heaven and hell we've been through what to make what through shit through shit so uh last year around june there was this application form that was going around at the, this particular agency that is looking for people to go to qatar uh, to work there and defense was so excited and she was like to just a to just a easy form and and, and, and i'm like mimi sijiski kutoka kenya because at that time i had a very good job now before I got my job, I went up in the country and it was not working. So for me, I felt like I just need to give myself time before I decide if I'm going to go to a different country anytime soon. So, yeah, by she's so jumpy. Yeah, I'm form. Uh, Akajaza form and she went for her first interview and she passed her first interview and when she was going for her second interview 
I can remember they were they were at we were well quite quick because me and her were that close. Like in the quite holiday time, Valin and defense will come to my mom's because at that particular time I used to live with my mom and we will stay here all of us together. So in short she was like family to us. So uh she, when she was going for her for her interview that morning I went to Likua home. So she went to my mom's room, she was taking a shower and then they prayed. Mama comes in Kishakwa stage <laughs> and yeah she went and she, she did her interview. And among the three hundred people who had been called for the second time, she was chosen uh to be among the first people who will go to Qatar for the job. My friend, hey, to Leona your message. Give credit to my win jackpot. We were so happy. We were hey to look at my furai. We called my mom. We told her the defense has gotten the job and my mom was as well happy. Everyone in our house was happy because we all knew this was like her ultimate change point. Her life was about to change and she was about to uh, finish all the mashidas because trust me in a defense to Mikula Shida and particularly her she has she has been through a lot and I can't tell you guys what she has been through but for me I can say she has been through a lot so for her getting that job it was a really quite a big deal Kwetu. so months went by it came to uh, August September Valin went back to school and uh but during september uh during september that is when she got the message that she's supposed to leave so around october she was supposed to leave beginning big be, end of october beginning of november so uh your time to look to na hang out not after the correct things that she's required to have and blah 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 so a month to her leaving she was like hey by the way me i'm thinking since we make kitaka kuhama home i think uhame home we have a plan on how mommy no before i continue this story if you have not subscribed it is your time to subscribe now i am waiting for people who have not subscribed to go back and subscribe i'll, I'll still be here to tell you the story so uh Nataka kukwachia Valin and I was like, ah yeah, that's a good idea by the way. And we had an agreement. So I just told her, because you will leave before I move out. Because for me, I wanted to move out of home uh, in the beginning of the year. In the beginning of, 20, of 29, 2020. Yeah, of 2020. So we agreed and, I, and we said, we'll go tell my mom that I'm going to remain with Valin. So tukenda kwa mama yangu. And we started explaining to her our situation and how I want to move out of home and how uh, I'm going to stay with Valin since Defense does not have anyone to leave her kid with at that time. So my mom was like, Eh, hey, apana unajoko wacho mtuto yenyeni responsibility. Uwe mtuto wakeza gonje asha, hee ni darega, hee Defense to tige hota, onore ya tu kwede te asha, dewele ya dua nyu. For those who don't understand Kikuyu, I'm sorry, but she said no. <laughs> so, uh, we tried talking to her and my mom stuck to her no. And that is when, for for us, it felt like, like what is happening? What is happening? So, we, we now started looking for people to leave Berlin with because defense has to leave. And if she doesn't get anyone to leave the daughter with, she will she will not go because yeah i imagine i can change just anyone her daughter and at that time i felt like leaving you leaving her kid was like the biggest deal in her life and i really understand because i think since the time defense got valin she's never left valin with anyone in particular or if she has it was not for a long time and this is now it's now time for her to go for two years and the only person she was expecting to leave her daughter with she cannot leave her with that person and it was it was 
depressing for her. I can tell you, she used to cry and she used to say, Amani wache kwenda, is this the best option? Should I leave? And at that time, I used to feel, uh, I used to feel a lot of uh, sympathy, stay it a pain, a lot of sympathy, because leaving your kid behind to go and look for a better future for your kid, it felt like it was the hardest thing any human being will do. And any mother will understand when I say it is the most difficult thing. And she felt like uh, uh, as much as this seemed so right, uh, like Quenda was now not a good idea. And I kept, I kept strong. I never used to cry because when she's crying and I cry, it used to look... Um, more extra was so alikuwa analia na muuliza analia nini pia mimi nashindwa analia nini sahi and i can say that one month was a very long month for her because alitafuta kila mahali to a point sasa ikafika ako you know what me i'm going to leave my daughter with i don't know who maybe nitamwacha shule she started even looking for people who she's not close with and for me, I just felt so bad. I felt so bad because nguvu. So uh, time went by and I, by the time defense was leaving, we had agreed on her putting her things at my mom's and we sold most of her stuff. And Sasa, uh, when we got to the airport, she was like, hey, unajua? Shule zikifunguliwa wetu peleka valin shule nitakuwa nimeongea na teacher wao ataka naye and I'm like <laughs> then we stayed kidogo kidogo she was like eh hapana nimejua utaachia fulani fulani mtoto wangu shule zikifunguliwa so i just felt like ai mimi nipatie valin stranger and she she left and when i got home i told my mom unajua nini Sipeani valin. As much as nafa kumpeana, simpeani. Simpeani because nina feel like kumenya napewa u mtoto, hamjui, hajui venyo mtoto anaka, zile mogonjiwa mtoto akonazo, hawezi mu understand peni sisi tuneza understand valin. Na tumekotikika na ye, and I am not changing my mind, she's staying with me. And by January, tutakwa tumehama. My mom at first, she was so reluctant na kakach. Actually, I think haku niongelesha for two weeks. And after, oh, juli kwa holiday, ya kuna kitu angefanya, si holiday wa ukuja ho. So, with time, tuka, nikahama home, so I started living my own life. And I can tell you, Valin is the best thing that has ever happened to my life, and to my daughter's life, because Valin has always been a sister to my own daughter. Like, she has shown Zara a lot of love, she has shown us a lot of love, Ato ule mwenye alikuwa nakataa kai huku, sasa sikuizi ya nasikianga ni kusema valina hata nachukulua ende kwa mtu mwingine. And she's like, hapana, anenda kufanya nini huko? Kwa ni huku ni nini hakuna? And my mom now feels like Valine is her own kid. And we love Valine so much. And she's such an amazing kid. And she's so, as in she's so adorable. She's so, there are those kids, yani, if we go, like, like people who tend to meet me, Valin and Zara, they always ask me, Kosha, Valin, see, see, work on Zara and your defense, because me and Valin have really clicked. Like, Valin is the mini me, because I'm quite hyper and jumpy and crazy, outgoing for those people who know me. And Zara is totally the opposite of me. Zara is the quiet one. She's always doing her own stuff and her own businesses. Valin, on the other hand, is Yvonne. Mom to dance, to dance. Mom to look at, to... Like, she's so me. Valin can't sit down. I don't think she can. She's like the house entertainment of this house. And we love her. And that is how I was able to become a mother of two. I love both my daughters. And they mean the world to me. So I, I don't think I'm regretting having Valin in my life in any way because she's she's just perfect she's so adorable 
and I love Valin and I love defense as well. So, when you have to subscribe, story Misha, please subscribe. Yeah, now like as well as share it with your friends and everyone out there. I hope you had fun, guys. See you next time. I love you so much. Mwah, 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 mwah.